Need food reserves? Well, come on over to eFoods Global at booksmart.myefoods.com. Again, that's booksmart.myefoods.com. eFoods Global is the gold standard of food reserves. Tell them Wise Wolf sent you. Uh, did you know banks are going up on ATM fees? Hmm. J.P. Morgan Chase is testing $5 fees in parts of Illinois and $4 in Texas for non-Chase customers. And I remember, uh, I, I remember this 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 movie years ago, and I laughed so hard. It was it had George Wallace, the comedian, uh, George Wallace, the comedian in it, and uh, he was complaining. He he went up to a a a, a bank teller the desk um and he said i want he's hollering at her i want my money out of this bank i want my money out of this bank i want my money out of this bank and so she's she says well sir uh i just need i need i need your account number blah 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 so she pulls up his account and he's screaming i i want i want to take it all out i want it all out all out so she says well in order for me to close your account I'm going to have to uh, get my manager. Well, get your manager. I want to close my account. So, bank manager comes. What seems to be the problem? I want my money out of this this, this bank. I want it all out withdraw. Da, da, da. He goes on and on. And the bank manager looks at his account and he says, how would you like that? Two tens <laughs> or four fives. So, the man is complaining over $20. But the reason he's complaining over $20 is... He's he's complaining about ATM fees, and he's like, I got charged this at an ATM, and and the dude's like, Well, sir, that's not one of our banks. Well, what can you do when your bank only has one branch? So he only had his bank only had one branch, and he needed some money, and uh, he got charged the the non-customer fee. Well, they're going up on that non-customer fee. So. That's called highway robbery money. Uh, the cash advances that you may take, because a lot of uh, people, if if you have uh, uh, an account with, let's say, uh, Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, whoever, if you have a pretty good standing with them, they will allow you to have the ability to withdraw cash from them, and that cash advance costs. And when I used to be with this particular bank, they would charge $2 for every $20. That's 10%. So I, I'm like, man, this has got to be highway robbery. I say, now this is comparable to payday loan rates. Comparable to payday loan rates. So I ran the numbers and say the bank gave me $20 on this day and I returned 22 that's the $2 plus the principal, two weeks later when I got my paycheck and this calculator runs the numbers, uh, it was a 10% uh, gain, uh, but the annualized return is almost 1,100%. <laughs> In two weeks. Do you want... You will never get wealthy paying that kind of money. Never. And luckily for me, I had a, a great enough job that even though I was paying this stuff like this, uh, I didn't do it very often and I could pay it back on my next check and it wouldn't hurt me so bad. But a lot of you are in situations where you're struggling already. Already. You can't make what you got let alone have this type of, of, of interest rate attached to it, 10% or otherwise, uh, that's absorbent. But again, this is, this, is, this, is, this is who you like. This is who you go for. This is who you have your money invested in. This is who steals from you. Never mind. But wait a minute. There's more. I, I took the liberty of one of the things I hate is we have banks when they do wrong as I, I've stated earlier they get fined but they never the, the fine is never 
is never comparable to the the violation or crime that was committed and they never have to admit wrongdoing so i just put it i wonder how many i guess i can't spell american i just found that but anyway when you look at this you'll just see this whole list of fines a lot of with bank of america but you have others i mean you got 2009 2011 Let's go down this road. Uh, mm -hmm, 2009 again. Two thousand eleven, two thousand ten. I think this was the two thousand nine. One of these had two, there it is, 2004 with a $675 million fund settlement. I mean, when you go through here, I mean, you just see banks getting sued. And I say, you see a lot of Bank of America, but here's Wells Fargo. There's City Citibank. Uh, you, you have other banks in here. And I mean, all they do is pay fines. Now, fines, when you get in trouble, when you do fraudulent activity you have to go to court you have to i mean you be lucky if you pay a fine now they're gonna send you to jail but the rules do not exist for these people they don't exist as they exist for you and the sad part is your elected officials are collusive in this they could prosecute these people but they don't why? Because they get campaign donations from them. On top of the fact, if they leave government, they can get a job in, at one of these uh, corporations paying so, oh, how many times more? So they don't want to rock the boat. I mean, <laughs> okay. Love them if you want. And then last but not least we have uh bank C ceos that run companies into the ground and yet they keep their bonus money that's called golden parachute money now if you run a company into the ground i'm sorry if you got to come to the government for money the taxpayer for dollars seems to me the head of that company ought not get no bonus. Now, during the time when all this stuff was going down in 2008 and 2009 and the whole big argument over bonuses was concerned, uh, the statement was, well, from, 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 these, from our government was, was, was well, these are f uh, contracts and we can't break contracts they were already signed before this happened and so we have to go on and head and do this even though it hurts us I mean they that's that's the way they put it, it really hurts us that they're doing this we wish they wouldn't do it but 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 since it's a a, a contractual agreement we can't break contract and and um and and uh allow them and force them not to get their bonuses. We have to allow them to get their bonuses because it's in their contract. What a load of crock. Because this same logic was twisted on his head when it came to GE, not GE, GM, General Motors, going into bankruptcy. They slashed up contracts left and right those bondholders were supposed to the senior bond when you go through bankruptcy senior bondholders are supposed to get um, the most they are supposed to get but they cut up them contracts they didn't care they didn't care so for GM's bondholders they got literally the shaft they got the shaft but these Banksy CEOs, oh, it's a contract. We, man, get out of here. These people will do whatever they want to do. The rules apply when they say it apply. The rules 
don't apply when they say it don't apply and it don't matter what you say if you're not in the top echelons of people and as I said if you don't know um, if you have to ask where you are you ain't it these people do what they want to do it is your elected officials who allow this to happen your elected officials who are on the take your elected officials who, who could care less about your rights who could care less about your, the constitutionality of something you got a legislative branch an executive branch a judicial branch who professes to know constitution but follows it not once they don't care they will trample over your rights if it means getting to their agenda. And I'm trying to drum this in your head because we have blinded ourselves from what's really going on. We have gotten ourselves to the point where we think that these people, I mean, you had so many folk who believed in Barack Obama. And, and, and I'm ashamed to say I voted for him. And I'm ashamed to say I voted for him uh, because... I initially told my told my wife I wasn't going to vote for him. And on the very day I changed my mind because of something I, I had read in the newspaper. It, it had upset me. And so I said, I'm going to go ahead and vote for him. Even though I didn't want to, I won't do it again. I will go with principle at all costs from now on. And so many people have, have, have I mean, just really been disappointed, disgusted, dismayed with what has been going on in this presidency. Now, I, I knew for a fact that he wasn't going to be able to stop what was going on with this financial fallout. But you had so many people, and because he ran with this, this, uh, this hope theme, this theme of hope, this theme of change, and because he wasn't like the rest of the, 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 uh, presidents we've ever had we felt like and I mean you had the whole world in celebration just about and I'm telling you it has been an utter disaster an utter failure and and you know you can <laughs> I'm black so you, it, it, there's no such thing as racism on this end. I love the brother. Unfortunately, he has not lived up to what he said he was going to do. The brother got a Nobel Peace Prize. And he hadn't discontinued either war of Afghanistan or Iraq. On top of the fact we're now in a new war which they say is not a war <laughs> and he hasn't closed down Guantanamo Bay like he said he was and he's, he has the authority and thinks it's okay to shoot American citizens who the government deems as terrorists just gun them down in the street this is this is the man we have elected. And again, I and I'm I'm trying to let me let me let me I don't I, I I'm digressing. To get back to my original thought about banks, until we understand what is really going on, we cannot change it. Until we read between the lines of what's being said, of what is being uh these laws that are being passed that are so called for our good, we will not see this major hoodwinking that we are engaged in. We are a part of. The veil is over our eyes. It is my duty. It is my charge. It is my commission to unveil these eyes. I don't care about Democrat or Republican. I don't care because quite frankly, they're all the same to me. The end result is the same. The last 20 years, we had both 
in the White House, both in major and minor positions in Congress and both in the judicial branch. And we still got here. We still got here. So as far as I'm concerned, everybody is responsible. And until you wake up to the fact that you are being robbed, look at look at the prices. I'm ranting now, but look at the prices. I think I'm gonna cut. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue ranting, and I'm just I think I'm I'm just gonna cut this this video in in two